Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Mm, it's eight o'clock. We can start our class. Still the students are joining, but we can help them. Hi, Ishani. Only I can see Ishani's face. Okay. <clears throat> so today's lesson, we are going to study about how to say, how to respond when someone says thank you. Abhi goda kai thank you kiran ne. Itre ogolo dana te dana na de tamai thank you ekar uttre de na welcome ekar. You are welcome. Can you go to that now? Have I had the man lesson? Can you all take that? Any heart to heal? That how many other people use? Can you pull up phrases? Can you get that? My care that? No, but after that, when you a key phrases, some are like yellow and the key and no one there. Some are like office. Can you boss connect? Formal well are the part. Can you one there? No, again, we will there. Can you know? Can you pull up well? Okay. Let's see how to respond when someone says thank you. First one. You are welcome. This is the most commonly used one, and also everyone knows this. You are very welcome. Also, you can say, and you are welcome. This is something familiar for us. So let's discover the other thing. Next one, no problem. Make a formal allowed for each other. Na, each other me mama anumata karan na hai. Abe yo agi yaalu etari kaadari. Ah, ulak na no shape ki na agi khatta vatta mai. Thank you, grandma. No problem, no problem. Can I pull up? So this is one of it. Next one. No, thank you. Make a amu deka. Make me you ekata. Wa poda baradila ki katkiyan no ne kiye ne vela ata. Ekat teru ma deng. Oya ya ata ne mama yu ata istuti ven no ne. Kiye la kiyan no ne vela ata. Ogolan de kiyan ban ne kaora ge na. Thank you so much for this. So you can say no, thank you, thank you for this. Kiye la ara. अनेक के नाट अनेक पैतरे स्तुति कराने वाले वेला आवक ना वो गोलों ने मेक यूज़ कराने पुलवा है बे यू के ना वर्ड के दिवा आप अपना बार दीला क्या ताकि उन्होंने ने वाटा स्तुति कराने उन्होंने माँ नो थैंक यू नेक्स्ट वन द प्लेशर इज़ माइन दिस इज़ वेरी फॉर्मल वन मेक फॉर्मल वेला You can use all these three uh, phrases uh, during a formal uh, meeting or whatever. If the if it is a formal situation, you can use these three phrases. Tune ekai paavichi karan none. Tune mat eiru ma ekai. The pleasure is mine. Next one. Yaalu onda. Kaur yaalu ek thank you kiya na thank you me udavu karada. Thank you for helping me. Uh, and you can answer saying, "I know you would do the same for me." Mandan no ayat mathe evi gino ka udhari udhau karay. Mandan no ayat mathe mehme karno kira. Vagi adhasak tamay ne. Ha bag ya thank you ki uham. What me evi dira ani petra you are welcome kia na tuva. Me evi dira respond karana pulva. Respond ek ko hamada. I know you would do the same for me. I know you would do the same for me. Next one. That's all right. Slang lagi, ya luan time mat, kian aku luang, ogol aku orang hari pick kira lah, macam list tegar di lah help kau. That person will thank you so much macam. That's all right, that's all right. You can say, that's all right. Make happy me, that's all right. Kian ni ke accent tegar mana tu lah, ni kang. Napa ruh dia rekiu tema, ni kang ni kang. Hemat kian aku lawat dia ramai ni tu ni kang. Aku matting, apa tu dah ukuran ni? Now mom, mom asking us to scrape coconut, and we do it anyway. We hate it, but we help her. And then after finishing that, mom says thank you, Dua. That's all right. Kila yaan na bula. Okay. Ara tamang akalatte mo na hari vedak kalla. Bye kaur hari thank you kyu ham ekada nokia adhari ni samakut. You are welcome kyu thai polga na kyu na ne ek kaadra kaadra dera ne inda. That's all right. Kila yaan na bula. I think ekai mangke ek paavi chikar na vidhya krame anu. Ah, podi podi mein askam tiye na ekke. But you can say that's all right. Kya na bula. Sur dera kya na agya adha saatte na. That's all right. Next one, no worries. Aulak na hitan nipa. No worries. So <clears throat> this is also you can use when someone says you thank you. No worries. No worries. Next one, don't mention it. Ek ekat ara apni thank you ki wahan mein kine ka kuchh loku dyan ne me ek ek hitan nipa hai me kela kine wagi ab dhasa kine. Lekin kaul har kine wana thank you kela you can say ah that's all right. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. You can say like that. Next one. 
it was the least i could do man mata karanna puluwan de thai man upari men kare eka prashnayak naha bohom istuti kiyana ekata api anith pattara dena uttarayak thamai meka therma you are welcome kiyana wage mata thamai haba eke podi sanga unu adahasa thiyena man owata upari men udaw kara kiyana mata karanna puluwan sulu wen hari man owata udaw kara kiyana eka thamai kiyawen eden kawun hari owata thank you to her oya eka ya wenuwen aasawen aadareyen karapu udawwak nan owata kiyana puluwan it was the least i could do it was the least i could do okay next one anytime yalu want um formal elaada pawachi gana api poda adui habai yalu etta ona welawaka support ekak denna ona welawaka kiyana wage adahasak thamai meke enne ithin kawara hari thank you to word what e gaadi kiyana pulang respond ekak widihara anytime mate no problem next one sure meka keti ekak uh, <coughs> හරිම කෙටියෙන් කියන්න පුළුවන් එකක් යාළුවන්ට ආයිමත් මොකද ෆෝමල් වෙලාවට පාවිච්චි කරන්න හොඳ නැහැ මොකද ෆෝමල් ෆෝමල් ඔෆිස් බෑග්ග්‍රවුන්ඩ් එකක අපි මොනවා හරි උදව්වක් කරලා කහට හරි ආ තෑන්ක් යු කියුවා මේක අපි ෆෝමල් විදිහට තමයි උත්තරේ දෙන්න ඕනේ එතකොට සුවර් වගේ දේවල් එතකොට පොඩ ෆෝමල් මදි ස්පෙෂලි ටු ටෙල් යෝ බොස් ඔයාට බොස් එන්න කියලා ඔයාව ඇප්‍රිෂියේට් කරලා තෑන්ක් යු සෝ මච් ෆෝ ඕල් දිස් තින්ග්ස් කියලා ඔයාව ප්‍රේස් කරන වෙලාවට नेक्स्ट <coughs> This is a very good one to use in office background and also during the formal situation and also when you write emails uh, as a reply you can say much obliged a uh, very british one you can use it uh, if you can remember uh, please use it you can say much obliged or you can say i'm very much obliged to you i'm very much obliged to you what ek meka istuti kiyana ek nemai theruma Thank you, viewer. But say welcome. Kya na ekwa ke adhas tamay make in. I'm very much obliged to you. Much obliged. Next one. You are most welcome. Apni dhan na welcome word dekhi mat tamay. Ha bhai. On mela avat. You are most welcome. Kya na ke adhas tak tamay. Ek in. Okay. Next one. <clears throat> We appreciate your business. Make a villa. I'm at office background. Dehka paavichi karana puluang vidhe respond dekha. Then business cutiye business mona hari deal lekha gihila. Ehe ma aave avastha kadi thank you few word. We appreciate your business. Kela kya na puluang. Ehe ma netta customers like ka veda karana kine ek nangoya. Ego lonte mona hari thank you few word paise ego lonte kya na puluang. We appreciate your customer. So, may dekha ma formal vela ma ta paavichi kere vena respond dekha. So, remember that. Next one, what do we have next? I'm happy to help. Hari ma simple vidhi hada. Lea siya ma kiyana pulaan dea. Kaur hari thank you to hama. Thank you so much. It was really grateful that you helped me. You can say, I'm happy to help you. No problem. You can say that. Next one, okay. Echa ra yape yada response wali inti yen ne. एक्सापल uh, Hold your horses. We haven't won yet, so don't start celebrating. But I was like, "Inna, apita am dinner lana hai na. Inna pora summer lana to inna. Idhar pora inna kya na elada apita. Hold your horses. Kya na pula? Kaudar hai na rashi kya bilani? Udau kahan ko kya na? Meke matra kala den. Meke kya na? Aur kya ma? Hold your horses. I am working. I am on another work. Ma meena da kara kari ne pora kinnna. Idhar aara two wait kya na? Wait a minute kya na? Aage aada hasa tamai. Hold your horses. Kya ne kya teri ma? ඉතින් මේක මතක තියා ගන්න කතා කරන්න පුළුවන් පාවිච්චි කරන්න. ඩේ ටු ඩේ ලයිෆ් එකේදී යූස් කරන්න. එතකොට ඕක ඕගොල්ලන්ට නිකම්ම හුරු වෙනවා. So you say hold your horses. 
Hari, I'll practice karam mula in the other phrases. Tiga, read after me and remember how to respond when someone says thank you. You are welcome. You are very welcome. You are welcome. You are very welcome. No problem. No problem. So the uh, the tone is really important, not the accent. Tone nega. A tone nega. Then my wife, a key and everything. After that, minister, under heat, then my wife, I can say, after ten, the car, I do one, add the key nega. Or a tone nega. Then I think, or a wife, again, no problem. Go, there, no, yata. Me, again, na, I do one, gun, no, then I can. Habay. Hina, well, hari ma, other end key, no, na, yata, there, no, I can. Hari ma, other end car, pu, do one, key, la. So it's always about the tone. Me, me, wife, again, response, so lady. Tone nego godak weda gat pinwa ani listener ata ahang inna kena ata wawa terunga so you can say no problem or you can say no problem so you understand the difference next time no thank you no thank you the pleasure is mine the pleasure is mine or my pleasure my pleasure or you can say Pleasure, pleasure. Next time, I know you would do the same for me. I know you would do the same for me. That's all right. That's all right. No worries. No worries. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. It was the least I could do. It was the least I could do. Any time. Any time. Sure. Sure. It was nothing. It was nothing. Much obliged. I'm very much obliged to you. Much obliged. Or you can say, I'm very much obliged to you. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. We appreciate your business. We appreciate your business. Or we appreciate your custom. We appreciate your custom. Next one. I'm happy to help. I'm happy to help. Next one. Hold your horses is the uh, idiom to say wait hold your horses wait a minute when you are going to pull on hold your horses hold your horses so example in the sentence you can say hold your horses um hold your horses we have not won yet so don't start celebrating so you can say like that also uh, teacher can you explain everything in english if so we can learn more words from you yeah um when I teach, I prefer to do it in both languages. So the, then only you can understand really what does that mean because Sinhala is our mother tongue. But of course, I use English during the speaking session. I use it. So I will use both. Okay, don't worry. Mm, but yeah, uh, I'm thinking about everyone because sometimes you can understand. But if I keep on talking in English and if the other students didn't understand what I said, it, uh, this session will be useless. That's why I'm uh, using both languages. But I'm trying to mix it like 50-50. All right. That's why I give you a talking session to talk with me in English a lot. Okay. So uh, during that time, you have to speak with me a lot. Okay. So let's move on to our speaking session because, uh, sorry, a listening session. This one is done. Now let's move on to the listening session. Can somebody tell me whether we did this listening one about the course? Did we do it? The course, final project and this listening part, did we do it? Can anyone remember? Oh, yes, we did. Ah, oh, we did yeah. it? Yeah, last week we did. Ah, okay. And selecting these, marketing, design, custom, all these modules selecting, yeah. we did it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then we'll move on to the next part. 30 questions we finished. Then we have the next 10 questions. Uh, 31 to 35. Choose the correct letter A, B, or C. 
initially the Great Wall was built to. Ah, so this is about, we have three options. We have to select A, B, or C. Just like that, we have five questions. We have to write the answer. This will be really quick when they talk. It will be really quick. And we have other five questions. Okay. Uh, anyway, before we start, I want you to read the questions quickly. So you can uh, quickly grab the answer while you listen. Initially, the Great Wall was built to prevent invaders from entering China, function as a uh, psychological barrier, or show countries enduring strength. The construction of the Great Wall started. When did they start doing this? In 3rd century BC, in 220 BC, or in 390 AD? The Chinese name of the monument is, what is the Chinese name? The Great Wall, the Big Wall, the Long Wall. Next one. The wall as it exists today was constructed mainly by Qin Dynasty, Nadan Wei Dynasty, Ming Dynasty, who, uh, who constructed it. During the Ming Dynasty, the wall's main purpose was, what is the main purpose during the Ming Dynasty? To be a military fortification, to protect caravans traveling along the trade routes, to contribute to the defense of the country. So I hope you understood the question and the answer. I didn't explain in Sinhala what's the question and the meaning of the answers. I hope you understood it. If, if, no, if someone didn't get it, please put it in the chat box. B, and, B C, and A, D. Ah, Gayan. B, C means before Christ. Christ Varsha, Buddha Varsha, Sinhala. So, B, C means before Christ and A, D means after death. English spelling after death. It is a B, C before Christ. Can a Christus one say in the calling out of the college? A out of the college after death. Can one say a native man? Pasu call it a D. Kila Kina. A A Katama Kin. Tevna Kila Mang Hitan Hoyata. Hari. Anyone else who didn't understand the questions? Questions they run at the Kenek in all the Tavunahari Wachana make a putty game over the listening a karadi, they run at the Mogolanta Lakunugana Behame Vekra Devi. Okay. So him there in at the Wachana Hari Monarchina and done a page at Boxeke. I will quickly tell you and then I will play. Now someone's cat is meowing. How can I show you the letters get so small? Okay. I will keep the questions like this. So you will have to select the answers. <laughs> okay. Then I will play. Okay. Find the answers. Section four. You will hear a lecture about the Great Wall of China. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 35. In IELTS, you get a few minutes to read the questions quickly and get ready. And then you have to answer quickly. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 35. Perhaps the most recognizable symbol of China and its long and vivid history, the Great Wall of China is one of the most extensive construction projects ever completed. Somewhat ironically though, the one monument that China built to keep foreigners out is actually now the biggest tourist attraction in the country. Despite the initial purpose, the Great Wall never effectively prevented invaders from entering China. It came to function more as a psychological barrier between Chinese civilization and the world, and remains a powerful symbol of the country's enduring strength. 
Though the beginning of the Great Wall of China can be traced to the 3rd century BC, many of the fortifications included in the wall date from hundreds of years earlier. When China was divided into a number of individual kingdoms during the so-called Warring States period, around 220 BC, Qin, the first emperor of a unified China, ordered that earlier fortifications between states be removed and a number of existing walls along the northern border be joined into a single system that would extend for more than 10,000 li and protect China against attacks from the north. A li is about one-third of a mile, and that's where the monument's name came from. The original name for the Great Wall is Long Wall of 10,000 li, or simply the Long Wall. Though the wall is quite inspiring, it was never called the Great Wall in Chinese, and only foreign mistranslation with romantic overtones refer to it as Great or Big Wall. With the death of Qin and the fall of his dynasty, much of the Great Wall fell into disrepair. Much later, a series of frontier tribes seized control in northern China. The most powerful of these was the Northern Wei Dynasty, which repaired and extended the existing wall in 390 AD to defend against attacks from other tribes. Despite its long history, the Great Wall of China as it exists today was constructed mainly during the mighty Ming Dynasty from 1368 to 1644. Under the strong hand of the Ming rulers, Chinese culture flourished, and the period saw an immense amount of construction in addition to the Great Wall, including bridges, temples and pagodas. In earlier centuries, the wall held little importance for the Mongols as a military fortification and mostly served to protect caravans traveling along the profitable trade routes. But during the Ming Dynasty, the Great Wall was considered vital to the defense of the country. <laughs> so you understand, it's so fast. When you do IELTS, the last part of the listening part is very, very speedy. So you have to grab the answers quickly. Mm, I will play again and Listen again and try to grab the answers again. Let's listen. I'll listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 35. Perhaps the most recognizable symbol of China and its long and vivid history, the Great Wall of China is one of the most extensive construction projects ever completed. Somewhat ironically though, the one monument that China built to keep foreigners out is actually now the biggest tourist attraction in the country. Despite the initial purpose, the Great Wall never effectively prevented invaders from entering China. It came to function more as a psychological barrier between Chinese civilization and the world, and remains a powerful symbol of the country's enduring strength. Though the beginning of the Great Wall of China can be traced to the 3rd century BC, Many of the fortifications included in the wall date from hundreds of years earlier. When China was divided into a number of individual kingdoms during the so-called Warring States period, around 220 BC, Qin, the first emperor of a unified China, ordered that earlier fortifications between states be removed, and a number of existing walls along the northern border be joined into a single system that would extend for more than 10,000 li and protect China against attacks from the north. A li is about one-third of a mile, and that's where the monument's name came from. The original name for the Great Wall is Long Wall of 10,000 li, or simply the Long Wall. Though the wall is quite inspiring, it was never called the Great Wall in Chinese, and only foreign mistranslation with romantic overtones refer to it as Great or Big Wall. With the death of Qin and the fall of his dynasty, much of the Great Wall fell into disrepair. Much later, a series of frontier tribes seized control in northern China. The most powerful of these was the Northern Wei Dynasty, which repaired and extended the existing wall in 390 AD to defend against attacks from other tribes. Despite its long history, the Great Wall of China as it exists today was constructed mainly during the mighty Ming Dynasty from 1368 to 1644. Under the strong hand of the Ming rulers, Chinese culture flourished, and the period saw an immense amount of construction in addition to the Great Wall, including bridges, temples, and pagodas. In earlier centuries, the wall held little importance for the Mongols as a military fortification 
and mostly served to protect caravans traveling along the profitable trade routes. But during the Ming Dynasty, the Great Wall was considered vital to the defense of the country. Then the next part. <clears throat> next part let's do that part and also then after that we can check the answers here are the questions before the use of bricks the great wall was mainly built from stones wood and you have to listen and find the other material that they have used to make uh, build this great wall Many western sections of the wall are constructed from mud and thus are more. Thus means therefore or so are more. What? You have to listen and write the answer. Next one. A part of the wall in Gansu province may disappear in the next 20 years due to, you have to find the reason why it will disappear in uh, after next 20 years. What will happen to that uh, part? To see the wall from the moon, would require superhuman what uh, what do you need when you go to the moon thus mm, mean put the the therefore emanisa enisa to see the wall from the moon would require superhuman what and then the great wall is generally recognized as one of the most impressive what in history so you have to write a noun here you have to listen and write it i will now play the recording you can listen to that twice and then write the answer when you're writing you can write no more than three words so only two words up maximum two words or one word one or two words not three words don't write three words when you write the answer 36 to 40. Now listen carefully and answer questions 36 to 40. Before the use of bricks, the Great Wall was mainly built from stones, wood, and rammed earth. However, during the Ming Dynasty, bricks were heavily used in many areas of the wall. The size and weight of the bricks made them easier to work with than earth and stone, so construction quickened. Additionally, bricks could bear more weight and endure better than earth and wood. But many western sections of the wall are constructed from mud, and thus are more susceptible to erosion. That's why in many locations the Great Wall is in disrepair. A report by the State Administration of Cultural Heritage states that almost fifth of the wall has totally vanished. In places, the height of the wall has been reduced from more than 5 meters to less than 2 meters. And more than 60 kilometers of the wall in Gansu province may disappear in the next 20 years due to frequent sandstorms. However, the state does its best to preserve and extensively renovate the Chinese wall, which makes a considerable figure upon the terrestrial globe. Due to its imposing sizes, the wall is often believed to be visible from the moon. But it's only a rumor. The width of the Great Wall, viewed from the moon, is about the same as that of a human hair, viewed from two miles away. In other words, to see the wall from the moon would require superhuman eyesight. Today, the monument attracts thousands of national and foreign tourists every day. In 1987, UNESCO designated the Great Wall a World Heritage Site. And now the Great Wall is generally recognized as one of the most impressive architectural feats in history. That is the end of section four. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Why in many locations the Great Wall 36 to 40. Before the use of bricks, the Great Wall was mainly built from stones, wood, and rammed earth. However, during the Ming Dynasty, Bricks were heavily used in many areas of the wall. The size and weight of the bricks made them easier to work with than earth and stone, so construction quickened. Additionally, bricks could bear more weight and endure better than earth and wood. But many western sections of the wall are constructed from mud, and thus are more susceptible to erosion. 
That's why in many locations the Great Wall is in disrepair. A report by the State Administration of Cultural Heritage states that almost fifth of the wall has totally vanished. In places, the height of the wall has been reduced from more than 5 meters to less than 2 meters. And more than 60 kilometers of the wall in Gansu province may disappear in the next 20 years, due to frequent sandstorms. However, the state does its best to preserve and extensively renovate the Chinese wall, which makes a considerable figure upon the terrestrial globe. Due to its imposing sizes, the wall is often believed to be visible from the moon. But it's only a rumor. The width of the Great Wall, viewed from the moon, is about the same as that of a human hair, viewed from two miles away. In other words, to see the wall from the moon would require superhuman eyesight. Today, the monument attracts thousands of national and foreign tourists every day. In 1987, UNESCO designated the Great Wall a World Heritage Site. And now the Great Wall is generally recognized as one of the most impressive architectural feats in history. That is the end of Section 4. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now let's check how many answers are correct. <clears throat> so first to answer the options, we have A, B and C, C, C. A, B and C, C, C. Uh, a, prevent invaders from entering China. Invaders means uh, invaders. So A is the answer. Then the 32 answer B in two, uh, 220 BC. Then the next one answer. The you will now have 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the uh, then the next one, uh, monuments, the, the Chinese name was the Long Wall, C. The wall as exists today was constructed mainly by Ming Dynasty, C. And during the Ming Dynasty, the wall's main purpose was to contribute defense of the country. Defense means Ratarakagana. So, uh, C is the answer for that. And you can mark your answers. Next five uh, answers, rammed earth. Here. Stones, wood, and rammed earth, like clay and soil. Sus, uh, susceptible to erosion. Ah, okay, erosion means kadane. First kadane when you make it. So, the western sections of the wall uh, construct. Sorry. Here. Frequent sandstorm. Ah, okay. The erosion, sustainable. What does that mean? Many western sections of the wall are constructed from mud and thus are more. Okay. Mud building hadalatin is a mud building hadalatin is a sustainable with the erosion when they neck are the net are when they net to a tiagana pullo. 38. Uh, why it will disappear in 20 years? The reason is frequent sandstorms. Eka digata in a frequent can in itaramena valley kuna to sandstorms. Then to see the Great wall, even from the moon, you should have a good eyesight. And then this is one of the most interesting architectural feats. That means, uh, architectural feats. Now tell me how many marks did you get? In your chat box, please tell me. It's totally fine. Make an adu and eka kamak the very speedy gear pika. About 10 out of 10, that's really nice. So, yeah, 6, 8 kind of range. 6 and 8. Anyone with 9 or 10? Not yet. Because I understand it's really fast. So, even 5, 4, 3 is also fine. Because you are not going to sit for the IELTS. But doing these listening activities will really improve your listening ability. That's why I'm doing uh, IELTS papers with you all. Yeah, five, six, six, yeah, no problem. This is, maybe this is the first time you are doing a listening paper. So, uh, Kavya Dynasty, um, I can't remember the real Sinhala word for the um, emperors. Uh, in an hour, in it for the Matakala monkey, and what what does that mean? Chela six and five, okay, yeah, great. 
uh, yeah so that's it uh, from this paper we finished this paper um, we can start another listening paper if you want or we can go to the speaking session which one do you prefer tell me in the chat box what do you want to do next until i check the word dynasty word rajavanshaya rajavanshaya onna kiwa man ngata hoyala um hey teacher today is my first time in this class i'm going to grade 10 classes of varuna kalakal sir ah really you are in sir's name right uh, sir is your cousin can you no no aruna sir and we are not cousins but we are like work buddies that's why i use his uh, zoom account also we work together in british world uh, academy yeah and right we have ati rajya is the most uh, the good one correct let's go to speaking session they say mm. yeah i think then we can start it another listening session <laughs> there are so many i'm joining right now it's okay speaking and listening speaking uh, two people oh, yeah many are saying speaking session so let's go to the speaking session then and we'll start a new uh, uh, listening one next week mm. all right so due to the match these days there are really a few number of students joining the classroom but still i'm happy there are 58 students so that's a good number um all right bokkala so how are you today now you can unmute and talk fine, fine. that's it aren't you bored at home yeah bored <laughs> all right so unmute and let's talk um, okay i want to talk with you today mm, can you please tell me like express your idea what is the most um, annoying thing or the upsetting or the thing that you hate the most when you travel by bus when you i don't know whether you have traveled by bus some girls they haven't even traveled by bus so i don't know you have the experience but if you have the experience tell me what is the most annoying thing or the upsetting thing about the when you travel are you okay music <laughs> okay <laughs> music i'm not is... with you <laughs> yeah. music is one of the greatest problem that we face no so we can escape from that with our headset we can listen to our song but still yeah music is a problem what are the other things you find it upsetting overloading overloaded bus yes very difficult to travel and i have so many experiences even when i go to the school my tie is on the way but i already <laughs> got out but my tie is still coming so like that yeah overloaded buses are terrible i understand uh, other problems actually conductor behavior Uh, yeah some are very rude and some are very like um, i don't know there are different types actually we can do a video about them as well but yeah, yeah. <laughs> conductors are sometimes rude they don't give you the balance sometimes they yeah. forget it purposely or sometimes re- re- they really forgot it yeah there are such situations uh, what else other problem jackie chan jackpot you <laughs> did you say jackie chan <laughs> <laughs> yes yes physical harassment physical harassment not only for the girls even for the boys this is happening for the boys also the harassment they will know they might have the experience as well because i had few friends few uh, boys who had that experience they also got harassed so yeah uh, the harassments in the bus mm. is a terrible thing and we have telephone numbers to call and to do different things but when we do all those stuff they are already gone mm. so uh, i don't know whether it's really effective but yeah we have to cut their thing when they do it <laughs> <laughs> all right so <laughs> what 
what is what are the other problems so the jam packed buses we we call it when it's so crowded we call it jam packed so jam packed buses conductors physical harassing and uh, songs any other problem ventilation heat heat the the what do you mean uh, i didn't catch it delaying not so, having uh, good ventilation and yeah, feeling hot not like. having uh, yeah that is another problem no breathing problem <laughs> we get the breathing problem when the bus mm. is so jam packed then we cannot breathe then the sweating smell and everything is rotating and also some perfume so it's a whole <laughs> pickle <laughs> inside the bus <laughs> so yeah ventilation is real. and the other problem is when you want to open the shutter someone would say please, uh. please close it <laughs> <laughs> so it's a huge problem i had that problem because i am a person who loves to open the shutter and Uh, go, but the girl next to me. When I got to the office, he, she said, "Can you please close it? My hair is getting everywhere. So could you please uh, shut it down?" <laughs> so yeah, it's very difficult. All right. So ventilation problem. What else? Anything Break. else? Hmm? Sudden braking. <laughs> <laughs> Sudden brakes. Yeah, the manner of the way they drive. Right, the drivers. It's uh, really uh, like terrifying the way they drive. Um, but when you are late to the office you love it na <laughs> don't lie <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> because personally when i'm late to the office when the bus driver goes like this i love it <laughs> because i can go to the office on time but it's really dangerous and the brakes and everything yeah uh, really uh, when tired you uh, when you get yeah. down from the bus it's like uh, you went in a roller coaster kind of feeling Actually, like, I don't like when they are racing with other bus bus drivers oh, because yes. I had to face accident because of that. Yeah, of course. Oh. So many people died due to these bus races. So yeah, that's another problem. I don't know. They to collect the profit and all. They are having these races yeah. um, uh, with the CTB people and the private sector. They have these troubles, but it's a real. Actually, thing. I have fear about it because I had I had to face accident. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I'm also really afraid. You know, girls and boys don't ever cross the road in front of the bus. You know, soon after getting down from the bus, we people cross the road in front of the bus. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, the problem is the driver cannot see you. They can he he can see the front, but he cannot see under the bus in front of the bus. Uh, he cannot see when he will go. one day when i went to a class when i was in grade 11 same thing happened to a lady and trust me that lady, lady got hit with the bus and her brain her brain came out from her head and oh. was in front of my legs yeah it dropped oh. down Oh. Down in front of my head, and it was Stop. like a nightmare for oh. me. Imagine, I was in grade eleven, and I couldn't move. And my best friend also was next to me, and we I... were looking at the brain, and it was there in front of us. Oh my god! So that day, I thought I'm never gonna cross the road from the front. Like as soon after getting down from the bus, I will never cross the road like that. Oh my God, terrible. I also experienced that situation. Uh, I saw accident when I go to the, my boarding house and uh, I be, uh, become by a book. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I may ask my roommates to may come to uh, and wait uh, till I am may till get washing, there. get bath. <laughs> and then what did you did you see any accident or something like that? Yes. Ishara. Ah yes, sir. Ki I may may experience that may I traveled by train. So okay. one lady ah, uh, accident with train and uh, yeah. Uh, May I saw her body. So oh. may that day, <laughs> I was the only person who may who is at the boarding house. Yeah, it's like a trauma. <laughs> then you remember that, so, no? So I so yes, I so I may turn on may light over the night. Other bookcallers, power day. They might be blaming you. 
<laughs> but yeah that i really understand that when you see an accident that day will be like really terrifying yeah yeah, terrifying. yeah so i don't know girls do you have that experience seeing an accident girls? yes ah samadhi yes other girls at least say yes or no yes. yeah <laughs> okay, i have so. one Ah, uh, Myra, you uh, are so when I was a uh, grade ten, ah uh, no, nine, in front of my house, ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, one lady, ah, uh, he he so fat, so fat, and ah, uh, she was sitting on the ah, uh, in front of her wo uh, house, mm. and suddenly ah uh, come uh, came a uh, man. Uh, I don't remember what not that vehicle name. Okay. Uh, like a big container he, kind of thing. Yeah. Like? No, no, no. Uh, like a jeep. A jeep. Ah, okay. like a jeep. Uh, suddenly, uh, yeah. Uh, suddenly hit that uh, uh, woman and uh, yeah, she. Oh my God! I can't. Get, uh, oh, <laughs> no, terrible! No, no. no? Yeah, no, I no. understand. <laughs> we have to be really, really safe when we. walk on the road these days oh my god the little boys with the bicycles i don't know whether you saw that news yesterday i think i saw mom ah, yeah. mom lost all her children and she's also Three in the uh, when they were crossing the road uh, the racing bikes these uh, boys came and hit so yeah this is a terrible thing you, you have to be really really safe uh, when we walk so yeah Ah, uh, Iresha, what did you say, Iresha? Right, I think yeah. Ah, uh, Maki, Mama, the guy that met her in English, Barry McKenna. Yeah, I have met him before. So everyone has certain knowledge, no problem. Ah, Mata, I can't go to watch. I'm not there anymore. Watch, I'm not there anymore. Then I come on now. Ah, hang in the. How is that? Because that Mata didn't see now. What they can do? Mom, what they can do? Oh, I think Karan did. Because that Mata, there anymore. Then I hang in the. Khata Karan, they hang in the. You cannot improve your speaking ability. I think broken English, sing hala mix karala, okkoma karala, acharu karala har kama ne buy na to katha karan. Ita pasi you can improve yourself with the grammar knowledge and everything. You can improve yourself. Yeah. All right, Bokkala. So mm, my next question for you guys, I would ask. Uh, I I don't know whether I asked this one from you guys. Have you met uh, famous people in Sri Lanka or the actors and actresses? Have you met? ू मीट Uh, I have met so many people. Ah, so many. So, do you go But, and talk with them, or just you just look at them? Ah, sanga karo. No, I <laughs> <laughs> no, I just see and identify who is the person. Uh huh. <laughs> and and then me. that's it. You don't go and talk. Ah, uh, they are coming to Andhra Pradesh. Ah. So that they are coming to work. No, I'm not yeah. disturbing. Ah, anyone. you didn't want to disturb them. So you didn't talk. Yeah. yeah. Any I'm other? Also watching. Yeah. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Just observing, and that's it. Yes. That's enough for you eyes, no? <laughs> yeah, so, Sandamini, Shara, Nips. There are so many. There are fifty-seven. So tell me, have you met anyone? How do you know, Ambala? You understand my question, right? Lanka we nalu niliyo prasiddha eva Ambala thi na adar. Say at least yes or no. Is there a yes or no? What can I say? Yes. Yes, Aki. Yes. 
Ishara. Yes, uh, I have met, uh, uh, but uh, sometimes I start to unlike them <laughs> after I may met them because of their behaviors. Actually, uh, <laughs> they are yeah. not so may friendly uh, and familiar. Uh, Uh, like they showing in their telegram as actually yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are fine <laughs> yeah that is true sometimes they are bit of locosine uh, they don't talk and uh, they don't they are not really down to earth actually they but... don't know how to smile properly <laughs> <laughs> but somehow now that is why i wonder now in sri lanka there are so many actors and actresses but we never go in front of their house in, on their birthday and wait just like sharukh khan's right so <laughs> see you see the difference when i went to india uh, same day there were so many people in front of his house waiting for the whole day so just because he the love they are big fans that's why so i don't know why the sri lankans cannot have that they don't have that ability and i don't know why it's not still there Uh, yeah some of yeah. them are acting like we are trying to steal something from them <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i i for, but i think for gamini fonseca and for malvi there are there are people who really love them i think my mom's generation they really love them and they say they used to collect photos and uh, keep it in their wall and yeah they were praising them but I, right now these days yeah 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 i mean about the people who came to the field very recently uh, actors actor and actress uh, who uh, came to the field very recently yeah new actors and actresses they, yeah. they also behave like that uh, actually mm. i don't meet uh, may, i didn't meet uh, old actors and actresses yeah uh, but we can meet a uh, new actors and actresses because they are coming to the shopping mall so uh-huh. like uh, that way uh, yeah. i mean about them they are yeah, not right. uh, much familiarly <laughs> mean yeah so i wish one day they will be like very friendly for an example uh, now you know pooja so many people love pooja because of her behavior she is my yeah, she yeah. takes photos very friendly yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. she is friendly yeah. but she is <laughs> So you see, I don't know. Maybe she is not really friendly, or maybe she is acting it out. But still, we love it, right? We don't know. But yeah, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm. A, a, we worked together during few years back, so I know her nature. She is a really friendly girl, and she, she even outside, she is uh, maintaining the same character. She doesn't have this dual personality. So, so people love her. There are so many photos with her, even the. Uh, poor kids with the poor kids or the poor people she behaves the same way and even the higher class rich people she behaves the same way so uh, that kind of character i think uh, all the actors and actresses should be like that like with the fans because if there are only if there are fans they they can survive in this industry otherwise they will have to just act and then vanish after a few years so yeah mm, i also have met many uh, Uh, famous people and uh, most of them were down to earth and okay with me no one gave an attitude but only once um, i can't remember the actor's name old one hmm in name at the so uh, th- that person my sister wanted to take a photo and he said no no i can't so we were like what okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were so upset. Mm. Yeah, Malli Fonseca's period person. He comes for the interviews on TV as well. I can't remember. Can't you remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ravindra. I also what have met Ravindra, Mr. Ravindra. And they. I used. What to say? Don't, don't be like that after you may famous. Okay. I am not famous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can you can you look at me and think that I will become a person like that? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just no, kidding. No, no, no. I know. I know. But no. I 
guys if you see me please come and talk to me yaar sandhuriya ke balala nikayinde ba okay sure. yes yes why no uh, sure. why yes, not sure. why not i also want why to get not? a selfie yeah. with you because <laughs> i have never seen you guys and i cannot uh, under like uh, recognize your face but you can recognize but me we can but yeah, we so can please come <laughs> let's take photos and talk and even go and eat something i'm ready for that but uh, when it comes to see <laughs> yeah Chabia in there. You are okay, my favorite character nowadays. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are you telling me? What? Chabia in there. And Akki, I also have met. What I is? also have met Sajid Anthony. Ah, oh, right. He Sajid was at my Anthony. university. Sajid Anthony. He was at my university. He is my he is my super senior. But uh, and uh, he uh, speaking with uh, girls who is free and swim uh, swim body. <laughs> Actually, are you kidding me? You did <laughs> drama. Who? What? What faculty are you from? Uh, social sciences and doing peace and conflict resolution special degree. Okay. Mm. So okay. Uh, so you are telling, telling me he didn't? He wasn't that friendly during the uni days. No, 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 not friendly. No, not, not friendly. Not friendly. Not friendly. Not friendly. Not friendly. Not friendly. <laughs> so, social media and anything. Yeah. No tip at all. But but in real life, he he doesn't, right? So, Kavindi, lose some weight if you want to talk with him. <laughs> 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 this yeah, day, I'm, uh, yeah, this day I'm doing. The... I'm going to Arabic classes. <laughs> Oh my god! I can't. Wow! I didn't know that. I have I have seen him like twice. Not much because uh, we we didn't meet much. But yeah, I saw him several times. But I I didn't want to go and talk and anything. I didn't uh, actually because he was also busy all the time doing these drama drama practices and everything. Uh, mm. But never heard of this. Mm, yeah, people are like that. Now he is my out of senior. Ah, okay. he's out of senior now. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think he one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is like twenty seven now. Twenty. Yeah, maybe like that. Twenty eight or nine. Hmm. So Kavin, the offer. Now I am in mean final year. When I was first year. Ah. Uh, now when I was first year. Final, uh, final year. He was in final year. Kavin, yeah. you are also yeah, final, final year. Yeah. Hmm. Who are the other university yeah. students here? Are there any university? I am. Ishara and others. Anyone? Um, We hunger. I'm also Aki. Okay. I phone kira thamu gaad kia ne vinne. I'm also. Yeah, because my I cannot see your name. I am Aki. Okay, Angara. A nice name, Angara. Ang. I'm telling it right, Angara. What is the meaning? Angara. Sapa pati vage akhe hamu. Mukha dobe. River. Huh? It's river. River, Angara. River, Aki. River. Yeah. Wow, it's the first time I'm hearing that one. Angara. Do you know the name, it's meaning of your name? It's it's river. River. Uh, uh, India. Ah, ah, Hari Hari. Me, that I know. It is called Angara. Means the direct meaning is river. Oh, Angara is the name of a river in India. I think name, name of, of a river. river. Name of a river. No, the Angara River. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I understand that. Do you know the meaning of your names? Yeah, I know because Mayura. it is very easy. Mayur. Peacock. Peacock. Lakna. <laughs> What is the meaning of Lakna? Actually, you... I hate hate my hate no, my I... name. And don't hate your name, Mayur. Kavin, <laughs> Kavin, the. The person who are expert in singing. Ah, Kavindi. Yeah, Expert in my phone girl. Mm. My name is Maliti. What does that mean, Maliti? Maliti. 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 Yes, so yes. many flowers, branches. Maliti. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yes, yes. What is actually what is the meaning of Maliti? Uh, Aki Mal Iti Maliti. Ah, <laughs> my guess is correct. I I thought I was. Is thinking. it not a bird? <laughs> is it not a bird? Mal, mal, maliti. Yeah, Maliti bird. Yeah, Maliti. Ah, Maliti Batiti. No, Maliti Batiti. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, samadhi, I can understand like samadhi kind of meaning. Sanduni? Yeah. Sanduni meaning? Moon. Oh. Sanduni. Moon. Sande inne ne sanduni. My sister also now. <laughs> Sanduni. Let's see the other different kind of names here. Me kata karana thi horu allaga maapi. Mino. Mino kya nikanda karana thi ne kada. Or the real name. Mino. Mino. Can you tell me the meaning of your name? Mino. No, I am Mino Lee. Ah, Mino Lee. Post friend abe thara nama kota karega na. Then ne guti. <laughs> Minoli, what is the meaning? Do you know the name? Meaning, Minoli. I don't know. <laughs> That, that's a big problem, yeah. Minoli. Yeah, you should know the meaning of your name, definitely. Minoli, who put you the name? Father or Arisen Ahubudu or who? I think uh, one of our cousin, yeah. Uh huh. Call the back. Cousin and auntie. The meaning, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that is better but uh, dilasha is even worse i i nobody knows what that means <laughs> <laughs> oh my god dilasha dil asha you know it is little bit uh, familiar but dilasha is i don't know dilasha, what is maybe like, maybe like in indian uh, hindi language oh, dil asha meaning of your name okay bokkala so the time is running up all right you can go and watch the match or do whatever you want and see you on next monday then bye bye bokkala see you Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.